Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area and perimeter of a trapezium or a trapezoid, depending on which part of the world you're watching from. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have a trapezium with sides A, B, C, D, and the following dimensions have been given. To find the perimeter, the perimeter of any shape is the total length round the outside of the shape. And in this case, we have that as the length AD plus CD plus BC plus AB. You must make sure you account for all the four sides. And also, you must make sure that your units are the same. In this case, all the units are in centimeters. Slotting that in, we have AD given as 15 centimeters, CD 9, BC, we have that as 24 centimeters, and AB 10 centimeters. We have all that in centimeters. And if we had all that together, the perimeter P will be 58 centimeters to find the area the area of a trapezium is half times the sum of the length of the parallel sides in this case we have that as ad plus bc times your perpendicular height if you put in the parameters we have that as half in bracket ad is 15 plus BC, 24, times a perpendicular height has been given as 8 centimeters. We have 2 year 1, 2 year 4. We have in bracket 15 plus 24, that's 39 times 4. Therefore, the area A equals 39 times 4, that's 156 centimeter squared. Let's look at the next example. In the next example, we're going to start with a perimeter. That's the distance around the shape. We have that as the total distance PS plus the distance SR plus the distance QR and the distance QP or PQ. Not that, you must make sure that all the units are the same. In this case, we have in centimeters, millimeters, millimeters, and millimeters. We need to change, either we change to millimeters or we change all the units to centimeters. In this case, I'm going to change my centimeters to millimeters. 10 millimeters make one centimeter, therefore, x millimeter will make 12 centimeters if you cross multiply the value of x will be 120 millimeters or we could as well multiply by 10 so therefore putting that back in we have that as 120 millimeters therefore our perimeter p equals the distance ps we've changed that to 120 plus sr80 plus QR 180 plus PQ 100 all that in millimeters and if we add that together we will have the total perimeter P equals 480 millimeters always remember to write your unit if you have to find the area the formula for that finding the area of a trapezium is half times sum of the parallel sides in this case we have that as ps plus qr times your perpendicular height putting in the parameters we have half times ps we are still using the millimeters so that's 120 plus qr 180 times your perpendicular height is 80 in this case we have that as 80 2 into 1, 2 in 80, 
40 so we have 120 plus 180 300 times 40 therefore the area a equals 12,000 millimeter squared let's look at the next example in this next example we are going to start with the perimeter like we did in the previous example the perimeter is the distance around the shape the total distance we have that as mp plus p we have o here p o plus n o plus m n if you notice we have the equality sign as shown therefore the distance p o is also equal to the distance m n which is 5000 centimeters also checking the si units we have them in centimeters and meters we need to agree on one unit in this case i'm going to use my meters so therefore to convert i have 100 centimeters equals to one meter therefore 5000 centimeter equals to x if i cross multiply i have x equals 5000 divided by 100 I have my zeros cancelling each other. I have x equals 50 meters. So this is 50 meters. And likewise, we have this as 50 meters. Going back to our perimeter, we have MP on 20 meters plus PO 50 meters plus NO 180 meters plus the last side MN. 50 meters and we have all that in meters therefore our perimeter p equals 120 plus 50 plus 180 plus 50 that will give us 400 meters to find the area area of a trapezium is half times the sum of the parallel sides we have that as mp plus no in this diagram times a perpendicular height but then in our parameters we have half times mp 120 plus no 180 times the perpendicular height has been given as 40 meters so we have times 40 2 into 1 2 in 40 20 therefore we have our area 120 plus 180 300 times 20 therefore the area a equals 6000 meter squared let's look at the last example and the last example we're going to start by finding the perimeter which is the total distance around the object we have that as ad plus the distance dc plus bc plus ab we must account for all the sides we have ad to be 21 meters plus dc 5 meters plus bc 15 meters plus ab 5 meters we have all that in meters therefore if we add that together a perimeter equals 46 meters the area equals half of the sum of the parallel sides the parallel sides in this case is your ad plus your bc times your perpendicular height we have half times ad 21 plus the distance bc 15 times your h your perpendicular height has been given as 4 we have 2 in 2 1 2 in 4 2 therefore our area equals 21 plus 15 36 times 2 therefore the area a equals 72 meters squared thanks for watching bye